When the app launches, display a view controller that contains a table view for listing the documents that are stored in the document directory. At the top of the view controller is a nav bar with a title that says documents and on the right side of the nav bar an add icon, the plus sign, that when tapped takes us to a view controller for creating a new document. The name is to be the name of the document which also serves as its file name when the document is saved in the document directory. There's also a text area for entering the contents of the document. Notice that when the name was entered, it also became the title of this view controller in the nav bar. If we were to continue to type, you can see it changes at the top. If we delete part of it, it also changes. So again, when this document is created, its file name is going to be colors, and it's going to be stored in the document directory for the app. And this will be the content of the document. So we'll tap save. This takes us back to the view controller that displays the list of documents in the table view. If we select an existing document, we navigate to the same view controller we use for creating it, but now the information of the existing document is presented. We can add information or delete information. So I'm going to say and hit save. And if we select it again, we go back, we see the change has been saved. If we change the name of the document right now, we're not going to have it change the name of the file. We're going to have it create a new file if it doesn't already exist. So if I say colors and more, hit save, I now have a second file. Colors still exists. Colors and more is now the new file that was based on the old one. So any changes to the file name will cause whatever we're editing here to be saved at that file name in the document directory. Documents can be deleted by swiping the cell and selecting delete or pulling on the cell completely and deleting it. So now I'll just Play with this a bit so you can see it in operation.